Romans chapter number 11 is where we stopped. Um, David was talking in Romans 11, 9. Uh, Paul is quoting David. He said, uh, you know, they've stumbled, they've fallen. And uh, he said he provoked them, them to jealousy, talking about the Jews, to be jealous of uh, God's people, the Gentiles, uh, the Gentile bride. He continues in verse 12, Now if the fall of them be the riches of the world, the ministry of the riches of the Gentile, how much more their fullness. Mm -hmm. And uh, one day they're going to be full. And they're going to come to know God. Amen. They're going to come Amen. to know the Messiah. And they do. Amen. Uh, their fullness, they, they're going to be full. When you get full of the Holy Ghost, uh, and you get, you got to ask because you leak. And if you ask every day, amen, God will fill you. But if you have not amen. because you ask, amen. Right? When, you ain't, when you ain't full, you're hungry. Right. Amen. 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 There's two ways to, be, to, you want to, to beat that hungerness. You either feed it, mm -hmm. or you push it away, and you just keep that pain inside of you. It'd be a whole lot better just go ahead and just eat a little bit. Amen. Amen. And just Amen. ask for just fill me, right. fill me, Amen. fill me. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. For I speak to you Gentiles, and as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify Amen. my office. Paul is saying, listen, uh, I'm, I'm going to you know, magnify, put a magnifying glass and so that you can see me and see that I am the apostle for the Gentile uh, being born again, being saved. These right. are non-Jews, mm -hmm. all kinds of color skin, black. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, you had all kinds of people. There was brown-skinned folks over there. There was. Uh, he went to Asia. There was Chinese-looking folks over there. I mean, he went everywhere, and uh, Asians. And uh, for by any means, I know his, his people went over there. All his disciples and Paul rose up, and uh, they went out preaching the gospel throughout all Asia. Uh, if by any means I may provoke them to emulation, them which are as my flesh, and might save some of them. He says, I want to provoke them. Right. He said, I, I want them to remember that I was a Jew, and uh, so that the Jews would look at me and say, you know what, there's something different about him. Right. And that's the only thing that the, anybody's ever going to see uh, in us. During this time, they did not have uh, Bibles to read on a continuous basis. Uh, it, it, was, it was impossible. So the people that were born again and saved did not read their Bible. Right. Mm -hmm. They did right. not go out and hand a tract. <clears throat> a tract is just a piece, small piece of paper with some gospel in it. Got a front, back, middle, and, and it's a very small paper. And people say, well, you need to hand out tracts. Well, they didn't hand out tracts. Mm -hmm. There was no such thing as a tract back right. in those days. Mm -hmm. What people did was they let their light shine and they would say, Amen. At the end of their sentence. Right. Mm -hmm. So when they finished, you know, eating, they'd say, Amen. Amen. Isn't that wonderful. Amen. You got good. Yeah. And yeah. they would Amen. make comments like that. That's how people can tell if you're a Christian. Right. They'll, they'll see you and they'll also be able to see a light. And mm -hmm. regardless of the little words that you put in there, they'll be able to see that God is in your life. Amen. Amen. And so Paul Amen. is saying, Listen, they're seeing what I'm doing, they're seeing what I'm going. They're seeing who I associate with, mm -hmm. and hopefully some will get provoked and say, now why, why are you doing this? Mm -hmm. He wants to have a conversation one-on-one. -on -one. The best way to witness is one-on-one. -on -one. We'd go to some mm -hmm. apartments, and we'd get all the kids and everybody else, and they'd go out door knocking. I might hit two doors, mm -hmm. maybe three. Mm -hmm. And then by that time, I'm in a conversation with somebody. Right. And I'm speaking to them about the Lord. And everybody out, we finished, we finished. They're all around me, you know, and I'm not finished. I just got going. Right. And I got one person I'm dealing with. I've got a whole complex full of people in the apartments. And all I'm dealing with is one, maybe two individuals at the most. And that's the way Paul wanted. He wanted someone to take notice and be able to say, what is going on? What is it with you? Don't you know you're a Jew? And he wanted people to, to look at his life differently. And the hardest ones to win usually are your family. Right. Because yeah. the family is always around you. They always see your flaws. Yep. They <clears throat> always see it. Right. And so it's hard to win family. Right. But others, man, y'all over there at mm -hmm. Sam's? Yeah, we're over here. We're having church. We'd love for you to come. You know what? Mm -hmm. There'll be folks that say, you know, I, I think I ought to go. I think I ought to go. And, and so that's what the Lord does. He uses men 
For if the casting away of them be reconciliation of the word, what shall the receiving of them be but life from the dead? He's talking about those that receive the gospel are going to have life. Thank God for that. I, I was, you know, I was born twice. I'm born natural, and then I got born spiritual. Got born in the family of God. And years ago, I asked the Lord to come in my heart and save me. He did. And God did a work in my life. Amen. Amen. Thank God Amen. for that. Amen. Amen. And uh, he, he can do it for anybody. Amen. anybody. Amen. And uh, for the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. <laughs> He's talking about the Jews. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree, we're the wild olive tree. There's a little wildness in all of us. Say amen, amen. right there. Amen. 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 So you got this wild olive tree in there. And we're grafted among them. And with them partake us of the root and the fatness of the olive tree. In other words, God's people were the Jews. And some of the branches were broken off. And then we, as a, as a wild, were put in and grafted. Now they can do that. You can see trees that people have grown up to 16 fruits on one tree. And they get an orange tree and they, they graft in a lemon. Then they graft in a grapefruit. Then they graft an apple. And they, it would all be the same tree and they would grow. And, and that's the way it would grow. And so the branches were broken off and grafted among them that they partake of the root and the fatness of the olive tree. The fatness is, uh, is good. Amen? It's good. And so uh, Paul warns the Gentiles, the Gentile church here in Rome, boast not against the branches. Don't be saying I'm better than the Jews. And, and a lot of people do that in their Christian life. They'll say, well, you know, I'm better than that guy. I'm not as good as this one, but I'm better than that one. You shouldn't be boasting. You know, you're just one of God's children. But if thou boast, thou bearest not the root. So Paul said, listen, if you're, if you're boasting against, the, Gen against the, uh, the Jews, he said, you're not even part of us. Amen. Uh, thou bearest not the root. He said, there's no way that Christ or God could be in you if you're a boaster. Right, amen. Mm -hmm. Look, God, you know, man, he got rid of the Jews so I could be saved. What do you think about that? Isn't that wonderful? No, you should boast. You should boast. Mm -hmm. But the root there, uh, the well, thou will say then the branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. And Paul's making this uh, thing, and he says, well, because of unbelief they were broken off, mm -hmm. and thou standest but by faith. How'd you get in there? How did we become part of the uh, of the root? Well, because uh, we had faith. Faith. Right. Right. How does faith come? Uh, faith cometh by hearing. And how shall they he shall not have they hear without a preacher? Amen. Amen. And so God uses preachers to get the word out. Amen. That your faith may increase. And once Amen. you get that faith, you go, you know what? I Amen. believe. I preached a message one time on prayer. Well, I preached a bunch of messages on prayer. And I say, you have not because you ask not. Right. And uh, people say, well, how come you're so confident in your prayers? Hmm. I said, because I believe God. Amen. And God said I could have it, so I'm going to pray for it. Amen. No, I'm not praying for a million dollars. Yes, I'm not praying for big, you know, uh, anything that goes against the gospel. I'm trying to get closer to the Lord. Amen. And so that's Amen. my prayer and yes. my desire Amen. Yes. is to get closer to Him. Amen. Yes. So Paul warns the church again, Romans 11, 20. First he said, don't boast. Now he says, be not mm. high-minded. Mm. High-minded. Uh, you, you, you think your brain is too big. He says your brain is thinking way too much on this. You're high-minded. You think you're better than everybody else. Right. And, and he said, don't be boasting. Don't be telling other people about why you got born again because it was the Jews that got rejected. He said, don't be doing that. And don't be high-minded. Right. He said, don't mm -hmm. be thinking highly of yourself. Right. And so pride come at the fall. And when you start thinking too much about yourself, you care about what other people are saying about you. Well, that guy's no good, I tell you. You know, he's, he's a drunkard, he's this, he's that. You know, when you start pumping up and going, what do they say about me? What do they say about me? Oh, you're, you're just full of pride. That's it. Hey, Amen. Who cares what they say about you? Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, Pick it on you. Yeah. Everybody else alone. Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, Thank God for yeah. this. Hey, Amen. Hey, but Paul says, don't be high-minded, but here comes what you should do. Fear. 
Right, amen. Now the beginning of knowledge in the book of Psalms, the beginning of knowledge is the fear of God. Mm -hmm. That's what the book of Psalms teaches in the very first chapter. That you need a, a book of Proverbs, that you need to learn the fear of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. There are certain things you should not do because just like going to jail. All right, you don't go in front of an officer and smoke a joint and and ha and, and you know say I'm fixing to rob this grocery store, man. <laughs> nope, sure don't. Yeah, you, you know you don't want to say stuff like that because right. you can go to jail. Amen. Why? Because there's a fear of that officer. Amen. 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 You know, I mean, I, I don't understand people that can can badmouth an officer. You know, growing up, you put your hands on the wheel and you waited. You turn it off. If he was pulling in, hey amen. You, you had to be quiet. Yes, officer. No, officer. Yeah. You know why? Because you can go to jail. Oh, yeah. Fear. Fear yeah. is a good yeah. thing. Amen. People don't like to be scared. Right. Mm. Especially young people. You know, I ain't got no fear. Well, you better learn to fear God. Amen. Amen. Because God Amen. can take you some roads that you'll go, man, I wish I did fear. Oh, I didn't know I could get this depression. I didn't know it could be this bad. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know it, it, it could really. Amen. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. I preached a message on, on death one time. I said, when I die, I want to I wanna have my, my shield up and my sword ready and, and just tell death, come on. And that night, mm. all right, that night, death says, oh, you want to take me out, huh? Mm. He come over there and he chucked me. Next thing I know, I couldn't breathe. Right. I had sessions where I couldn't breathe. Right, amen. I mean, it was, it was stuck and, mm. and I tried to get breath and it was just like that. Right. I thought amen. I was going to die. My wife said, now calm down. Calm down. And then breathe through your nose. Calm down. And finally, I mean, I can breathe. But I've had them. I, I tell you, there's some things you better fear. You know, you know and I'm, I'm just going, God is the first fear. For if God spared not the natural uh, branches, take heed lest he also spare not thee. Just because you're saved, born again, doesn't mean he can say, okay, that's enough for you. 